I was deeply saddened and outraged by the uh, explosion at the hospital in Gaza yesterday. And based on what I've seen, it appears as though it was done by the other team, not, not you. But there's a lot of people out there not sure. So we've got, a lot, we've got to overcome a lot of things. Terrorist group Hamas has slaughtered, as has been pointed out, over 1,300 people. And it's not hyperbole, it's just slaughtered. Slaughtered. And uh, including 31 Americans as part of that. And uh, they've taken scores of people hostage, including children. You said, imagine what those children hiding from Hamas were thinking. It's beyond my comprehension to be able to imagine what they're thinking. Beyond my comprehension. They're committed evils that, uh, and atrocities that uh, make ISIS look uh, somewhat more rational. You know, uh, Americans are grieving with you. They really are. And Americans are worried. Americans are worried because we know there's a, this is not an easy field to navigate what you have to do. But uh, the fact is that Israel, as they respond to these attacks, it seems to me that uh, have to continue to ensure that you have what you need to defend yourselves. And uh, we're going to make sure that occurs, as you know. We have to also bear in mind that Hamas does not represent all the Palestinian people. And uh, it has brought them only suffering. And I, we have uh, 7,000 first responders, United Hatzalah, who are spread around Israel. Today, I received calls from the hospital to prepare for a mass casualty event, the likes of which I never could have prepared for it in my life. And I treated wounded people, soldiers, civilians. My name is Dr. Mo Farid, and first of all, I would like to thank you for this unprecedented support in Israel. I deeply appreciate it. He need to treat his Jewish colleagues and the Jewish goers with the party. Now it brought us a lot of pain and sorrow, but also pride. Brothers-in-law, one of them is the citizen of the U.S. as well, a great warrior, one a colonel. Let me say this before this council. And let me say what we've consistently said to Iranian officials through other channels. The United States does not seek conflict with Iran. We do not want this war to widen. But if Iran or its proxies attack U.S. personnel anywhere, make no mistake, we will defend our people, we will defend our security swiftly and decisively.
akşam mesela yavrumuzun toplantı yapıyor. Bu fotoğraflarımız mesela çizgiliyor. İşler bir şey yapıyor. Bir gün acaba sabah saatlerinde bulunur arkadaşlar. Bu açıdan da önemli. Şu an için kara harekatı olacağına dair işler tarafından bir karar çıkacağına devam yapacağız. Ancak hiç tarihte bilenmiyor. Bu tarihte kapatmış çok farklı faktörler. Bağlı Another big explosion. Yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big one. I just turned the camera to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's west of west of Rafah. With it. Yeah, yeah, Rafah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. وزارة الصحة والناطق باسم الوزارة طالب اللجنة الدولية للصليب الأحمر بإحضار وحدات دم من خارج قطاع غزة نتيجة كثافة الإصابات وعدد كبير من الإصابات الذي لا زال يتلقى العلاج على أروقة في داخل ممرات المشافي ونتيجة الضغط الكبير للقصف الإسرائيلي والعنيف